2020 on Morning Olympics. This morning on the Morning Olympics, our featured events is the art of running away. And today we have our champion running a rare. Now, let us watch and see what happens. Alright, it looks like we are now looking at a very, well, messy room. It's gotta be picked up. Will this runner avoid it? We are about to find out. Well, there they are, and they have run away from that situation. Oh, an injured person. Will they run? Will they help? And they run away like it's nothing. Oh, bathroom chores. Now those are not fun, but it looks like Mon has asked them to get done. Let's see. Barely a flinch and bolted. Hmm, car trouble. That is no fun. But our runner is not stopping. There they go. Not even a moment's thought. Now slugs, those are kind of scary, so... I think this is the fastest our runner has ever run! Look at them go! Well, I must say that was... interesting. Nonetheless. They ran away from everything that came their way! Now... We're gonna learn some more about running away. All right, PCC kids, I've got a question for you. Have you guys ever tried to run away? Maybe you've packed a suitcase, put in your favorite stuffed animal, a few snacks for the road. Maybe you've even got outside your door and maybe even down the street. You know, when I was your age, there was a couple times where I was really upset really angry with my family or maybe some chore that I had to get done or something like that. So I thought the best idea would be to run away. But you know, I never got out the front door because I realized that running away is not the best solution. But you know, some people do try and run away. In fact, there's someone in the Bible who tried to run away from God, as crazy as that is. And I think a few of you might know who he is. His name is Jonah. And Jonah ran as far away as he possibly could. But do you think it did him any good? No, actually it got him in a ton of trouble. He ended up in a giant storm, he got lost, and he had to have God save him. The person that he was running away from in the beginning. Now, the next few weeks, we're gonna learn a whole lot more about Jonah and his journey. But for now, we're just gonna focus on the part where he ran away. Now, when God asked Jonah to do something for him, Jonah said no, and that's when he decided to run away because he didn't wanna listen to God, he didn't wanna help God, and he didn't wanna help God's people. So he chose to go the opposite direction that God told him. Ugh, the wrong decision, right? Well, eventually Jonah came around and he ended up going to help the people that God asked him to. Now, it took a long time for Jonah to get there and it actually caused a lot of crazy things to happen to Jonah because he didn't listen to God in the first place. And it was all because he ran away. Now, if Jonah had chosen to listen to God right away instead of running all the way to the other side of the planet, then none of those things would have happened. Now, I want you guys to think about maybe a time that you wanted to run away from something. Maybe you were thinking about telling one of your friends about Jesus. Sometimes that's a really scary thing to do because it's like, I don't know what words to use, or I don't know if they'll like me or not, or I don't know what they're going to say after I tell them about Jesus. Now, do you think that's a good reason to just run away? No, not at all. Because in fact, when you run to that person, when you run towards what God wants you to do, there's amazing things that are going to happen. 
If you went and you told that friend about Jesus, even though you were afraid, then they would know that Jesus loved them. Then one day they could even spend forever in heaven with Jesus. So we need to remember, even when things are scary, even when we're frustrated with things, running away is never a good idea. Instead, we should run towards God. We should ask for his help. All right, guys, it was so great learning the first little tiny sneak peek about Jonah with you. I'm so excited to learn more and more and more about how God used Jonah. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!